Hello everyone, welcome back X Machines channel. Wire rope is several strands of metal wire twisted, into a helix forming a composite rope, in a pattern known as laid rope. Therefore, wire rope is also known as a complex mechanical device, that has many moving parts all working in tandem, to help support and move an object or load. Wire ropes are largely used in marine environment, for rigging purposes, or in the lifting industries. Wire rope is attached to a crane or hoist and fitted with swivels, shackles or hooks to attach to a load, and move it in a controlled manner. It can also be used to lift and lower elevators, or as a means of support for suspension bridges or towers. Since its development in the 1830s, wire rope has become a popular lifting device, for many reasons. Among them, the most important reason comes from the unique design, of the wire rope itself, it consists of multiple steel wires, that form individual strands laid in a helical pattern around a core. This structure provides strength, flexibility, and the ability to handle bending stresses. Different configurations of the material, wire, and strand structure will provide different benefits, for the specific lifting application. Depending on the needs of the wire rope's bearing capacity, durability, and lifting load, factories will manufacture wire ropes of different lengths and diameters. One of the common operations in factories is to combine small wire ropes into one large wire rope. To understand this process better, we will see the workers fabricate a three-wire rope sling. Flemish eye sling is the strongest, and most efficient termination method. It is quite unfortunate, that Flemish eye slings are not as well known as they should be, given their versatility, and their high WLL, 95% of the strength of the rope. We are in Hendrik Vetter's wire rope factory, where we will see firsthand how workers in the factory manufacture two two cable laid slings by wire rope with a gigantic length of 280 meters each. Up to the time they were manufactured, these were two of the longest cable cars in the world. Terminated with two hand spliced soft eyes and weighing 63 mount each, the cable laid slings will be used by SIPEM for subsea field installation in the Asgard field in the Norwegian Sea. The entire production process of these slings is carried out at the Hendrik Vetter Group's production facility in Rotterdam in several days. Their strength don't stay there. 
We will try. Tenta, tenta botar. Próximo. Na fora aí, pode passar. Se eu observou pra lá, não fizemos esforço nenhum no carro, uhum. né? Next, we will visit United Offshore Services large diameter wire rope production facility. This is a production facility located in the Moor Dyke in the Netherlands, where workers are manufacturing grommet cables with a diameter of 420 millimeters. It's impossible to to sweat. This way. Turn. What's so special about this cable lay grommet is the length. They have a circumference length of almost 170 meters. They have piece weights of almost 70 tons, making it something very unique. This wire rope has set two new world records including the world's largest diameter wire rope with 420 millimeters and the wire rope with the largest calculated rope breaking load with 15306 MT. United Offshore Services produce cable laid grommets on a unique machine, which ensures even tension and a tight tolerance in length, especially between matched pairs. This wire rope, after production, will be used by Harima's SSCV Sleipnir, the world's largest crane vessel, which accomplished a 15,300 tons lift installing of topsides, for Noble Energy's Leviathan development in the Mediterranean. The wire ropes after production are usually very heavy, they will be supported by cranes and heavy lifters, to be loaded onto trucks, and delivered to customers. These are images of the process, of workers using cables to support lifting and lowering, during the relocation and transportation of the rig to offshore installation.